What is up guys? Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where I will review every single guitar ever made, or hopefully. Today I got a cool guitar. I got this guitar literally about like two hours ago. I dropped it off at my place and then I went out and I just came back. So this is like a true, true first impression. I've opened it, obviously I've opened it. I've like, I like looked around with it when I was talking to the buyer, but, or to the seller, but I haven't played with it. I'd say I have like five minutes of looking time with this guitar. So everything in this video will be my honest first impression. So let's go. So I got a uh, pretty cool looking guitar right here. This is a early 2000s Epiphone Emperor NA. The model says Emperor NA. I actually tried to um, do some research on what year this was because I asked the seller and he didn't know either. But he told me he bought it like 10 plus years ago uh, in Santa Cruz area. But I, I tried finding the serial number online, but I couldn't find much information. But the serial number goes by ES9062XXX. So if you guys know what that is, write it in the comments and I will be appreciative greatly. So first impression, I always look at the weight. I always see, you know, how heavy the guitar is and for a hollow body i'd say it's on the heavier side it's not it's not too heavy maybe like i say about like seven pounds ish it has a good weight to it but for me personally for guitars i prefer heavier guitars not too heavy but minimum it has to be like seven pounds for me personally because i just like you know when i put the guitar on my lap i just like to have a certain weight to it it just feels like to me, it just feels like there's more quality if the weight is higher. But you know, everyone is different with that. For hollow bodies, I'm not really a hollow body type of player at all, to be honest. But you know, if it's a guitar that's hollow, I prefer it to be heavier because it just feels like the quality is higher. And for this guitar, I could definitely tell that it is it is a very well-made guitar just right off the bat. I haven't plugged it in, I haven't played with it through an amp. So tone-wise, I'm not really sure what it sounds like, but just like playing it um, bare, it sounds pretty good. It does sound good, actually. So even though that, you know, this is an Epiphone, the reason why I wanted to pick this up was because, you know, it looked like a fancier Epiphone. And it does look, I mean, it has the um, the block, the bigger block inlays, especially on the first fret um, that a lot of uh, higher end Gibsons have, like the Gibson Les Paul Custom, you know, they have the big block inlays on the first one. And even though this is an Epiphone, it has a Gibson truss rod cover, which I don't know why they keep doing that. You know, I always, I said it in my other, um, in my Epiphone SG, a review video dude if it's epiphone why not just put epiphone here or if it's gibson why not just put gibson here or uh epiphone here but with the gibson headstock like why not just make it consistent like why would you have to keep on like switching it off yo like who what are you are you an epiphone are you a gibson like be consistent that's just my preference but like even on the back the tuners say gibson deluxe which I guess it's good because it's higher quality, but I don't really understand the inconsistencies with um, Gibson and Epiphone with how they brand and you know shape their guitars. But like I say, it's not really a big of a difference in terms of you know playing. But just from like a brand perspective and just like you know like the aesthetics purposes, like yo, if you are you an Epiphone, are you a Gibson? Like what are you trying to be? You know, apart from that, this is a very solid built guitar you know when I when I hold it and put it and when I put my hands across the frets and the neck just feels very solid you know Epiphones they have like sometimes they get kind of flack like a negative reputation for like quality and stuff like that but dude if you're paying like less than 700 bucks like the quality for an Epiphone is pretty good in my opinion compared to Gibson's where you have to pay like over two grand for you know, quality that's kind of debatable for the recent Gibson models, uh, at least. In terms of the neck profile, I'm not really sure what neck profile this is, but it feels like a, it's a slimmer neck, but not extremely slim. I say it's like a modern C 
kind of neck, but like a slimmed down version of a modern seat. If that even makes sense. And like I said, I'm not really a big hollow body guy, so I don't know too much about the history of hollow bodies and like Epiphone hollow bodies, but I was actually confused when I got this because I've seen a couple uh, Epiphone models online for sale. A lot of the guitars that, that looked like this shape it had the name Joe Pass Epiphone. Um, I'm assuming Joe Pass is like some kind of guitarist who, who Epiphone or Gibson designed their guitars out of, but I don't know why this is an emperor. You know, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe an emperor is a Joe Pass or vice versa, or maybe these, they're two different types of guitars. I don't know. You know, just from what I've seen online, the shape looks kind of similar and just like the build looks similar. And like I've mentioned in my other Epiphone videos, a lot of the times when guitar brands like Fender or Gibson when they outsource their uh, their lower brands like Squire or Epiphone to you know manufacturers in Asia a lot, like this is Asian built you know a lot of the hardware is they cheap out on the hardware and for this case it is kind of true uh, the plastic on the knobs is pretty cheap they're not it doesn't feel too high quality even this like when you when you do this when you flick flick it up and down it just it just feels pretty like it's not a firm like this you know it just feels kind of like cheap um there's a lot of wiggle room and stuff like that and this i'm not really sure what this does but this is not bad quality i say it's pretty decent but i feel like like if i go like this i could break this off easily but i know who would do this to a guitar who would break it off but you know let's say accidentally like if i was playing live which i never do and i never done actually you know if this got caught with like a wire or something and i went like this i feel like this will just break off very easily but i feel like a hollow body a guitar um an acoustic type of guitar is like you need to put more care into it but in, t in terms of the wood quality and the wood finish it looks very good it looks very well done i'm pretty sure this is wood uh correct me if i'm wrong the front looks like wood i could tell the sides and the back, I think they're wood as well. It kind of looks like maple. Uh, I'm not really too knowledgeable about guitar woods. Like, like I know um, the common wood types they use, like ash, or alder, or you know sometimes walnut, uh, maple. I don't really know what a maple looks like, but I've owned a Taylor 614 CE, like a, like a mid 2000s Taylor 614 CE. And that was a maple as well. And the finish looks similar to this and the color looks similar to this. So I'm assuming this is maple back. Correct me if I'm wrong, like I said, but you know, in terms of a wood color, it's a very bright color. It's a very light color. Usually, um, or a lot of the Gibson or a lot of the, you know, acoustics and hollow body guitars I've played, um, the wood finish was just much darker. So I'm assuming that, you know, this is a different type of wood that's not as commonly used. You know, like I said, I haven't plugged it in. I haven't um, tested it out on an amp, but just from like a structural standpoint, this is a very, it just feels very solid. And I think that theory is true. When they say older Epiphones and older Gibsons, the quality control was much higher especially like the early 2000s, like made in Korea um, Epiphones. And I feel like that is true for the most part. I've played modern day Epiphones at like, at, like at a guitar center or whatnot. And I've played older Epiphones like this one. And just from like the build quality standpoint, it just feels a lot higher. Not really about the hardware, like the knobs and stuff, but just like if I was blindfolded and I received this guitar, um, you know, it would be hard for me to tell that if this is an Epiphone, you know, to be completely honest, because like I said, it has a good weight. The neck feels solid. It feels very firm. The wood on the neck is also very good quality. The inlays don't look cheap at all. They actually look identical to the Gibson Les Paul Pearl inlay, um, which is pretty incredible. And it just has a cool, um, this thing, you know, a lot of the times, like the higher end Gibsons, they have like this crown logo thing, but they did a different approach. It's like some kind of like flower or what is this? It's like some kind of vine, vineyard, vine looking thing. But you know, overall it looks like a very classy guitar. It looks like if, if, if someone gave you the guitar and did this hiding the Epiphone, dude, you can mistake this as a Gibson to be completely honest, like a higher end Gibson. Cause it has like the, um, uh, what do you call it? The binding, like the, black and white binding. I don't know what you call this, like 
like on the sides right here. The Gibson Les Paul Customs also have this as well. But overall, it looks it just looks like a very elegant guitar. Definitely not a rocker's guitar. Doesn't look like a rocker's guitar, but you know, a lot of jazz um, and even blues, like these older videos you watch of like guitarists play. I mean, I feel like this is the type of guitar that they played. You know, overall, um, like I said, I can't judge the tone because I haven't played it yet, but just from a structural uh, rating and a perspective, dude, this is like an 8 out of 10. Very impressed. This is my honest first impression. I literally got this today, reviewed it today. I'm impressed. Epiphone Emperor N A. Exact year unknown but early to mid 2000s, I believe. Maybe even 99, I don't know, but solid guitar.